movies and still beasts who doesn't like them both so the new patch or upgrade 4.023 was released a few hours ago I believe one hour, one day ago and uh, this uh, new version includes a very interesting camera control system which I'm going to show how to use it in the next uh, few minutes stay put the new camera path control is only available in the scenario editor you cannot activate it or use it during regular gameplay and uh, the idea it is just to make movies I suppose or make some very engaging type of uh, uh, movies with a lot of cinematics and different points of view so right now I'm here in the editor I have a, a platoon of Leo tanks which are pretty much in the middle of nowhere over there near a town the map is near uh, Hamel I believe in Germany so um, I'm gonna start this uh, scenario right away uh, I'm gonna save this guy it's gonna load I'm sorry for the speed it's actually very slow in my computer the scenario loading have to upgrade this computer so I'm here in the interface to start start and as soon as I start I get into my uh, tank point of view which is the one that I am command off all right but that's not what I want to use the camera you have to be in an external point of view so I'm gonna go F5 right click view and this will activate an external camera right there which you can pan and you can move and this was useful to make some movies in particular you know the up and down action was pretty much very discreet and very, very choppy you cannot use it and the side move was also kind of very very type of choppy as you can see so what I will do I will uh, take benefit of the new camera path interface to activate it you will press alt spacebar and boom there we go you have a very beautiful uh, yellow circle over there that points where the camera is looking at right now and uh, the interface is kind of simplistic but not self-explanatory uh, there is a time slider over there which defines from 0 to 100 seconds where the camera is going to be looking at you have this plus and minus which define the different points where the camera where you want the camera to be at different times so by using that combination you would be able to say well this is going to be my time zero so I'm going to press plus and you see in the bottom left the keyframe was added so now my next keyframe is going to be at six seconds so I just move the slider a little bit uh, to the left number six appears there which means six seconds and then I'm going to move into my next point of view where you want the camera to be at six seconds after you have done that, done that you can press the plus button over there again new keyframe and uh, I just want to show you how the graphical representation of the path that we just created looks like and uh, whoa there we go you see starts here goes through the uh, white arrows up to there and uh, you have some nice rays or trace rays showing you where the camera is going and to see where how the camera works you can just play here and you will see the animation going on over there beautiful very very smooth very very nice except for some choppiness due to my aging computer and uh, yet again 
to make your movie more beautiful and not to show the interface thing over there of course you can press again alt spacebar and the thing will disappear and there you go you have a final render what the camera looks like you may notice too that the camera path is cyclic it goes back and forth which means that well you know you have to be making it every scene based on this and then you know choosing a different type of camera etc etc another important feature is that you can save your camera path in case you want to use it in case you are very you you took a very you created a very complicated uh, type of camera path you can save it and reload it again and the camera will follow exactly what you instructed it to do it will start and end at exactly the same points and uh, of course I'm not mentioning here but you can add as many keyframes as you want let's say right now that a time I don't know maybe 10 seconds let's move the slider up to 10 seconds you want to add another uh, keyframe you just move the camera where you want it to be use a circle to point it wherever it goes and then press plus and uh, to see what you what you will be doing just press plus again and uh, this is something that you have to be careful with as you notice the camera is pointing to certain places that you may not want it to go see how it goes from here then it's pointing over there that hill then coming back over there that is not very nice and uh, the the reason for that it is because uh, this uh, software or whatever routine they have used it to uh, facilitate the camera path editing uses spline lines which sometimes can be a bit unpredictable you see over there we define the three points one two and three and uh, this one goes a bit like you know like a curve which is very smooth and very nice but um, it may have leave you with some unexpected results like the camera moving away from the main subject which in this case of course is the tank and uh, that's pretty much it that's how you use it and of course the combinations are at the discretion of your uh, artistic abilities and from here just go and make some movies add some music and have fun thank you for watching